Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be carrying on with this cutscene. Uh, just before I start I'd like to give a quick channel update. Uh, if you watched my 100 subs video you know I was panicking a bit about losing monetization and it's all good. Uh, apparently YouTube have changed their policy now so all small channels have now lost their monetization. Um, you now need to get over 10,000 total views on the channel to qualify so all good there but you know if you'd like to support me on patreon it would be much appreciated and also check out my personal tutoring reward on there as well and link is in the description so guys let's get started if you watched the last video you saw that i had this big guy stepping forward and then looking screen right i've uh, done a bit of work off camera here so i've added a camera cut i've added this uh this small guy at the back here, sort of uh, coming around the tree and ready to start sneaking forward. And so I'll just describe what's going to go on. So he's going to sneak forward to about this point, make sure this guy hasn't seen him. And then he's going to take a big step here and sort of uh, do like a jumping attack, just trying to get a quick stealth kill in. Uh, but this guy's going to hear him and just in time he turns and blocks with his shield and then that's going to be the start of the fight okay so let's uh let's continue on with this um so obviously i'm animating to this camera here so i'm not being too precious about the feet at the moment until we cut back um, but it's still a good idea to to animate them where they should be at the moment um, okay so going to do a at this point we're going to do a step forward okay and it's important to try and have a look at what what part of the actual walk he is on um, so I guess you know we're starting the walk from what would be the low position I haven't done a tutorial on walks yet I will get around to do that soon but in walks you've basically got uh, poses that you do so you do uh, your contact your down you're passing, you're up, and then back to the other foot contact. So even if you're doing a bespoke animation like this, okay, it's not a vanilla walk, but you still need to follow that kind of pattern. Okay, so this this part here wouldn't be part of the walk. This is just getting into position. Okay, and at this point, um, because it's a down position, okay, the next pose is going to be the passing position. Okay, so um, the passing position is just where this foot here goes across okay so it's midpoint um, his hips aren't fully up yet that happens on the next pose okay so like that um, always check your weight left and right you know where is his center of mass at the moment or is he standing on this leg okay so it's going to be over here okay so just going to quickly roughing this walk so I've gone ahead and roughed out this walk off camera um, so you'll see what I've done is a passing position um, and a contact and then a down okay now if you look at it in camera it kind of makes sense now that it's coming round okay um, obviously you're never going to see the feet at this point so now what I'm going to do the uh, third camera cut which is back to a similar position as the first one so I'm just going to bring it back probably something like that okay that's almost spot on um, again rule of thirds this guy is occupying this space down here and this guy is occupied occupying this space here okay so you get a nice line of action coming through and he's also going to come through and attack along this line of action as well okay let's play that and see how it feels okay so the guy walks forward okay this guy sees him and at this point he's going to do a couple more steps and then he's just going to build up a bunch of energy and you know come forward really quick and attack okay so let's have him Continue to move forward a bit more. So, if this is the the down position, 
be moving forward and put in a passing position. Okay, paying attention to what the hips are doing. You see how off balance this is. Now you could probably get away with this if he was if he was running around. You know, you could really bring this this foot out here and sort of have him like this. But because we're having him sneak around, that's not going to work. So I need to make sure that his hips are coming over like this. So all the legs, uh, sorry, all the weight is on this supporting leg at the moment. So you bring the hips over and then you rotate to the side like this. Okay, to keep him in balance. Now I'm just going to bring this foot in a bit like this. So animating here, check into the camera. Make sure it looks nice to the camera as well. Um, okay, something like that. Cool. So, set a key there, lock that in. Okay, um, next key pose is going to be the highest point of the walk. Okay, so this is called the, the up position. Now, because he's sneaking, it's not going to be like a traditional up position. So he's he's um, sort of down low like this and trying to keep his feet quiet. It's not a full sneak, but he's just trying to approach without being heard. So cool. Okay, so let's let's land this foot for the next. And I think this will be the end of the sneak. Okay, so at this point, he is going to come to a stop, and then we're going to get him to a really nice dramatic pose as he prepares for the attack. Yeah, I'm just going to change the saw positions a bit, just make it a bit more interesting on camera. Okay, so <coughs> this is interesting. So what we're going to use here is the, the, the foot roll to get this to work properly. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this key here, paste it there. See the, the way the leg locks out? That's fine. I'm going to use the roll um, here on this control here just to roll it up okay so it's going to go like that and then I'm just going to move this key across a little bit so you get a nice kind of flick out and then step okay and that fixes that leg there that'll do for that okay okay this is um, this is going to be one of the most important poses to sell this first attack okay this is going to be an anticipation to get into the run and then the jump. Okay, so he's gonna big um, anticipation pose here. He's probably gonna take a step, maybe two, jump up in the air, big dramatic pose, and this guy's gonna turn around and block. So that's the plan. This is all still very rough, guys. You know, it's um, just trying to get a feel for the, the actual animation. All this can be, you know, edited later. But this is just. Um, we're just roughing out at the moment what we're going to do. So let's create this, this dynamic pose. So he's just step with this leg here. Okay, I'm just going to go off camera and uh, create this pose. So I've done some work off camera here. Uh, I'll just show you where I'm at. So we've got this guy coming round and then he gets into this kind of really low panther like pose. You know, he's ready to pounce on this guy. Um, so the next thing to do is start the attack, basically, exaggerate this so he's down like this and then he's going to come all the way down as far as he can okay probably lower this as well and put his hand on the floor a bit to push off okay i'm just going to get as much of a tuck pose on this as i can so i've done some work off camera here uh, i'll just show you where i'm at so we've got this guy coming round and then he gets into this kind of really low panther-like pose, you know, he's ready to pounce on this guy. Um, so the next thing to do is start the attack. So guys, I've done a bunch of work off camera here. Let me just show you where I'm at. So this guy now comes around and goes straight into the attack. Um, the idea before was to have him tuck down into an anticipation pose and then sprint forward. But sort of looking at that as I was working, I just realized it wasn't going to work. Uh, mostly because this guy is already looking away, so why would this guy wait? You know, at any point he could turn around. So he wants to take this opportunity as soon as he can, and it just helps with the overall flow of the scene, I think. So 
Uh, these are all just key poses. Obviously, once I go in for the second pass, I'm going to have more breakdowns and make it look a lot nicer. But you know, for now, it's looking it's looking okay. So, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and interesting. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And the next tutorial will be out soon. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks, guys. Speak to you soon.